I believe in truth, justice, and equality. I believe that with great freedom comes great responsibility. I believe that anyone can change a nation. That is why I fight. I had a speech project in grade 7, and I decided to pray and ask God about what topic I should do. I felt him directing me to perhaps the most controversial issue possible. He wanted me to speak about abortion. We rarely talked about the abortion issue in our home. I mean, as Christians, we considered ourselves to be pro-life, but as parents, we never really took the time to sit down and talk to our kids about the abortion issue. Her teacher was against the topic of abortion from the very beginning. And when her teacher said no, my daughter came home very, very upset. My teacher said the topic was too big, too mature, and too controversial. She said that I would be pulled from the attached public speaking contest if I chose the topic. The idea of forfeiting the contest devastated me. I did it anyway. Everyone tried to change her mind. A 12 year old talking about the issue of abortion, that's not what the school wanted. Her teacher tried to change her mind, the school librarian tried to change her mind, we tried to change her mind, but she was just convinced that abortion was what she was supposed to talk about. So she wrote her speech and she presented it to her class and, and we thought that she had done such a good job that we wanted to record her speech and put it on YouTube, even though we hardly even knew what YouTube was. I couldn't believe it. Every time I refreshed the page, the views would jump by the hundreds, by the thousands, by the tens of thousands. It was insane. The video now has over 1.3 million views. It's incredible to think about how God can use one little choice to make such a difference. Soon after the video was posted, that's when we started getting the comments. And some of them were really nice and encouraging, but not all of them. Some of them were really scary, uh, threatening, downright disgusting. I would sit there in front of the computer and just delete comment after comment after comment because I didn't want my 12 year old to have to read these things. And sometimes there would be hundreds of comments in just mere minutes. I would lie awake at night wondering, you know, had we put our daughter's life in danger? It was hard knowing that so many people hated me, even though they really didn't know who I was. I started going by a fake last name to protect my family. But I've learned that opposition can give you a platform. People from all over the world were contacting us for interviews, for speaking engagements, for copies of the video. Everyone wanted to talk to our little sweetie. We've had women comment on her video that because they watched her video, they decided not to have an abortion. We've had notification from the school system in Malta. They've used her original video there to educate about the issue of abortion. I mean, she's made a difference in so many ways. She fights for equality. She understands that freedom must be fought for. And she uses her freedom to fight for the freedom of others. My name is Leah. I stand for life. I stand for truth. I stand for justice.